morning the sun is up and I am up too I could have left probably two hours ago already but yeah, I'm lazy today I don't have that many miles to go well I mean I got 960 miles to go to my delivery but I have all day today and tomorrow to get there so technically I don't even need to drive 500 miles a day so I figured yeah, I'll take it easy today <clears throat> went inside and had breakfast already and I had a little arrows in here that I have to, to blow stuff around like blow dirt out or whatever you know and it was leaking a little bit there so I figured ah I'll fix that up here and do some stuff like that did my paperwork get it all ready so I can cross the border so now we're ready to go so let's put the hammer down let's get going here we are just about to cross into Minnesota yep look at that uh, river is partially uh, partially frozen yep kind of curious on to uh, crossing border Entering what the scale Minnesota. is going to do today oh it looks like they are uh, they are closed today yeah, this scale here from Wisconsin into Minnesota here is uh, is open very, very often, like almost all the time. They're almost never closed, and they're pretty picky too. They will inspect you like that, no problem. They'll they'll pull you in just for nothing, you know. They are. Uh, Always doing inspections in there. I got pulled in there many times. Yep, we are just a little bit away from Minneapolis. Well, I guess St. Paul on this side, the other side are, is Minneapolis, I suppose, but hey, at least we are in Minnesota now and the sun is starting to shine there again, so that's good. Anyways, we'll put the hammer down and we'll see what happens. Alrighty, we just had ourselves a little bit of a uh, kit stop up here in uh, Suck Center, Minnesota. Yep, we had to go do a little bit of grocery shopping. It's got to be done too, you know. Got me a little bit of grocery and a uh, little bit of meats. I usually eat some... Uh, fruits and stuff like that in, in here you know and uh, got me some boar beef meat and everything so I can cook me some stew again yep I was totally out I was glad I stopped in here and grabbed me some meat and everything so that way I can cook me some dinner tonight again so anyways We'll put the hammer down. Here we are, just entering North Dakota. Yep, that's it. Crossing border, entering North Dakota. Here is a sign. Welcome to North Dakota. That means we are just entering Fargo, North Dakota. Yep. I am certainly enjoying today's ride. It's not windy at all. Nice and sunny. I'm doing very good on fuel mileage. Mind you, I did fuel with number one fuel up there in uh, Wisconsin. But I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it looks like it's doing a bit of a difference. We'll see actually when I feel how much I do on fuel mileage, but right now I'm certainly doing very good. Yep. If you are a regular viewer of Trucker Josh's channel, you would probably remember he filmed this uh, overpass here where you can walk across the highway, over the highway a long time ago. but. I've never, I don't think I ever had it on my channel, so I figured, eh, hey, why not film it, right? It's pretty cool having a walkway to cross uh, over mile. the highway Keep like that, right? right? I-29 North, US 81 North. Yeah, right. 
I don't know why my Ram McNally GPS wants me to go uh, I-29 into Canada and then go across the Saskatoon like that, but yeah, it does. Eventually it will recalculate, I guess. Yeah, look at that. It's not even that much snow up here, yeah? The wife said last week already that the uh, groundhog had seen... Uh, Oh, I don't know if they seen his shadow. I don't think they had seen his shadow. So that meant we would have a uh, short uh, winter. So that means we should have spring pretty soon. And I can uh, almost guarantee you it will be because I mean... Right on I-29 North US 81 North. With all the warm weather that we got up here. I bet it wouldn't be very long till we have spring. Yeah, right around zero degrees right now, but yeah, at Celsius. Look at that. There's a penner truck coming over that overpass. I don't know how good you can be able to see it, but right there to the left, you should be able to see him. Yep. He's heading uh, eastbound. I'm going westbound. Probably came from Canada. Probably left today. Yeah, anyways, it just as makes Exodus where we uh, have the path or pass truck stop. I go there quite often. I actually prefer to go to that path or pass compared to any other truck stops in the area. Yep. Yeah, you can't really ask for any better weather than this in winter time, that's for sure. Got a scale just down the road here. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be closed today. I haven't had any scales open today or yesterday. Yeah. It's been pretty quiet actually today. Hasn't uh, hasn't been very much that's been going on today. But uh, sometimes that's a good good thing though. You know. Yeah, right here on the uh, on the right, you'll be able to. Uh, probably see a little bit of the truck stop uh, the truck wash right there it's always almost always lined up there for that truck wash I've never seen that truck wash not have a single truck in there unless you come there at like middle of the night but during the daytime never happens oh, I wonder what they're building here huh I haven't seen this building here before mind you I don't go this this way very often either so I guess Fargo is adding on a new building. Almost looks like a, a hotel or something. Yep. Anyways, we'll keep on rolling, rolling. Well, we are calling it a day. It's pretty early here still, but uh, that's all right. Just figured I'd show you something here a little bit. Got a little bit of a feather right there. Yep, a bird just came flying out of the ditch there. Just before I stopped up here. And it came right up there, up to the windshield there, and then it uh, flew down this way. <laughs> and it uh, hit the front grill. So I got some feathers up here, and yeah. That bird, I imagine, didn't make it, but too bad. But what can I do about it, right? I actually got a feather right up there by my windshield washer, uh, my windshield uh, wiper, too, but. Yeah, well, let it sit up there, but anyways, just walking around a little bit, checking everything, make sure my tires look good, and lights are all working and all that stuff, you know. Got the train track right over there. Yeah, I hope he's not going to be blowing his horn here overnight, but anyways, let me just do a little bit of a check, make sure our lights are working. Yep, looks good. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, since I've been stopping here early, I don't really have to go much further today. I didn't do that many miles today, but don't really have to because I only have like 455 miles to go to m tomorrow till we get to Saskatoon. So I figured I'd stop early and probably cook me something to eat. But anyways...
probably gonna go use the bathroom and then I'll probably go cook me some something to eat so we'll be back in a bit well here we go I bought some good stuff here at the Walmart up there in so uh, Sox Center Minnesota that's exactly what it is I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it but hey I'm gonna be cooking me a stew from it you got it on sale up there so I figure I grab me two packs and that should last me a while and uh, hey this stuff is real good for me at least it is and so I do like cooking inside the truck but I haven't done it in a little while so figured why not right so let's get started well our dinner is ready have a look yeah so I'm gonna go grab me a bite to eat yep let's get it done oh that dinner was amazing I am lazy now I'm telling you oh that was a good dinner for sure well guys I think I'm gonna go on my computer now and I will probably start working on some videos for you guys yeah we got to do that every once in a while you know otherwise you guys wouldn't have a video up there to uh, look forward to watching yep oh yeah I think we're gonna pull up this thing here and gonna show you a little bit yeah I use the uh, Sony Vegas Pro version that's how we do it you got to put all them videos in there and add them up like that yep there you can see a little bit of behind the scene but hey I'm gonna go start working on that stuff putting them together and that way they're ready to upload whenever I get a good internet connection so uh, with that have a good rest of the day we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.